Welcome to the High Voltage Light Electric Vehicle channel. This week's video is on single speed setups with the BBSHD motor. More specifically, adapting front chain rings like this one here to use as a rear sprocket for single speed. This is only really aimed at modified BBSHDs and not stock setups because the stock motors max out at about 5,000, 6,000 RPMs. And that's not enough of a range to hit a decent top speed with big gears at the back. Modified motors with external controllers like the Back 800 here or the Back 855, which is what we do with our kit, let you reach north of 15,000 RPM. And that gives you enough range of RPM to use a big gear on the bike to get really good torque, acceleration, and still hit a decent speed. This bike, for example, I can hit 60 kilometers an hour with ease in this big gear at the back, and that is a one-to-one -one drive ratio. So I have effectively a single speed setup here on my fat bike, and it shows one way of doing it. And it's very much inspired by the work of Francis Janssen at Electron. The guy has a wealth of bike building knowledge and is ultra generous with it. And this is just kind of one of the things that I pinched from him early when I was building my, my first bike. Chainline is often tough to get right with BBSHD bikes, uh, especially if you're using a fat bike frame and you have to use a wider um, crank and downhill bikes where the chain stays often interfere. And the way it's done is you use a offset chain ring here to move the chain back. And then at the rear here, to bring it further in line, what I've done is broken apart the chain set or the chain group at the back so the middle three gears, if you can see here, have been moved to the outside and that's brought the big 42T gear towards the outside of the bike and it's given a nice straight chain line towards the front, which is really important if you're running this kind of power because it makes it much less likely for the chain to break and much less wear on the chain overall. By having a, a single speed setup, you can also use a really thick chain. Um, this is actually a six to eight speed chain, but I mean, I could use an even thicker one if I wanted to, like a really, really chunky one, but I've not had any issues with this chain wearing. Um, so I haven't replaced it in quite a while now. This one is well over a year old and I checked it the other day. It's, it's still within spec. There's been a conversation though on Discord for quite some time now uh, with people wanting to use single speed sprockets. So not break apart a cluster or reuse a cluster, but just use one single gear. And the problem with that seems to be that they only make them up to like a 22T in size. And I think that's because single speeds are mostly used on fixed wheel bikes, not really designed and manufactured for this kind of market. And I don't think anybody's done it. So high power, from a 42T driving a 22T doesn't really work with this bike because there's so much physical kind of inertia and weight to overcome by the motor, even running at four kilowatts, it's a lot of force to effectively drive this wheel twice with one rotation of that. And it just leads to a lot of wasted amps, a lot of wasted energy, a lot of overheat in the motor and you're gonna either burn out the nylon gear, or if you have the steel gear, eventually it will damage the stator. So 22 Ts to 42, it doesn't really work. So the discussion got into, could we come up with some kind of adapters to let you use a front chain ring like this in place of the back one, and then use a simple chain tensioner, and you could get rid of the, the derailleur cable and everything else that goes with it. I don't imagine for a second that we are the first people to, to try this, but I wanted to talk about it because I think it's a great example of the way Discord allows people to come together and share different ideas and, and make things together. And from the rough conversations and ideas came some initial designs, uh, which I have down here. And uh, these have now been sent off to be evaluated for machining. Um, huge shout out to Johnny and 49 Machining because he's the one that's kind of assisting with that process. 
Uh, he actually makes some really, really nice stuff. These are some peg brackets and brace for the Saron, which are gonna be going on to my Saron bike. And it's really, really nice work. And if you want to see more of Johnny's stuff, there is a link to his Facebook page in the description. We've actually recently added a whole section to Discord that looks at machining and fabrication. So we hope there's gonna be lots more to see on these channels. And if you have parts that need machining or are into machining, feel free to join in. It's really awesome to see the Discord server get used to let people work together in this way. So the parts that I've printed here are two types and they're meant to let us use the main style of chain rings that are available. So this one is the five bolt fang pattern that's um, it's the same one that's on here. This one's a bit smaller. I think this is a 32T. Um, but it uses the five bolt pattern that you get on the BBSHD that uh, Luna make loads of these, Lecky make loads of these. They're, they're pretty common and available. Uh, you can get them on AliExpress if you wanted a, a cheaper version as well. Uh, this one here is designed for the, the four bolt pattern rings and they all have the, the splines. So the idea is that you would just use this at the back with a four bolt pattern chain ring on there and then you would use a simple chain tensioner down below, or you could come up with something more custom. It all depends on what you want to do. If you've got a bike with rear dropouts, you could just tension it like a, like a normal one. Actually, it'd be quite interesting if somebody could replace the clutch in a BBSHD motor and went with uh, rear horizontal tensioners, would it be possible to run regen with a BBSHD? I, I don't see why, why you couldn't, but it would take replacement of the clutch to enable that to happen. But anyway, uh, I don't have a four um, bolt chain ring to show you guys this working with. I think it might actually be possible to run two, like you could put one each side to get yourself a two speed setup. So you could have maybe a 42T on the back to get really good for climbing and off road. And then you could flip it down to say a 32T for higher speed on the road getting to and from where you want to go. So we're gonna get a few of these made, test pieces, and try them out with various people on Discord getting involved. And if you are interested in this or machining in general, you're very welcome on our Discord channel because the more people we have on there, the more knowledge we can share and the more people there are to build light electric vehicles. So thank you very much for watching the High Voltage channel and we'll see you next week. Cheers.